I'm working on my PhD thesis, which titled Analyzing the Feminist Political Discourse in Translated Novels from Arabic into English after the Arab Spring. Uh, in this presentation, I'm going to take you with me to explore key points in my research as follows. I'm going to start with uh, what is Arab Spring and how it's related to feminism. Then I'm providing a, a research overview with reference to uh, the research questions aim and uh, my model of the analysis. And finally, I'm going to highlight the impact of the research. So Arab Spring easily is just um, an anti-government revolution at the end of the 2010 and uh, 20, the beginning of 2011. Uh, it's emerged in Tunisia and spread across uh, the Arab region and affected many Arab countries such as Egypt, Syria, and Iraq. Arab nations were affected by that event and women in particular showed active engagement in the uprising. Uh, the relation between Arab Spring and feminism is significant due to the nature of the Arab social and political context. The Arab uh, context follows a social and political hierarchy that used to introduce change from up to bottom, from early to ordinary. Patriarchy controls its system and directs the social discourse. Surprisingly, the Arab uh, Spring established a change from bottom up. People in the street carried the street demands to political outlet, uh, aiming to be engaged in the decision making. Therefore, Arab Spring lit up the fuse that has shaken the traditional social and political norms and become the revolution that included all range of people uh, or Arab society. Consequently, Arab women found themselves an essential part of this revolution and created new ways of activism to introduce a new chapter in the history of their nation. As many studies have shown, the Arab Spring marks a new Arab feminist wave that positions Arab women's struggle on different level. It also provides a fertile ground for studies on women's revolution, gender studies, and feminism in general. So from this point, I started to look at how Arab feminists express themselves and how they produce their discourse. I noticed narratives as one of the important ways of expression, and I came up with my research idea to see how literary discourse travels across cultures, especially from marginalized ones. On the other hand, I wanted to investigate how different feminist activism is rearticulated and presented, and how other feminism is translated and interpreted. So uh, my study looks at the literary discourse after the Arab Spring and offers an analysis of the feminist political discourse in translated novels from Arabic into English. It investigates the translation process and provides a reading on how Arab feminist ideology move across cultures. The study therefore selects novel written by Arab women that reflect on the impact of the Arab Spring to bring a new pers perspective to translation studies that deal with gender and political issues, the study employs a combination of CDA frameworks and feminist translation strategies to reveal the ideological manipulation in the translation of literary work. The study aims to provide a reading on how Arab feminist ideology move across languages and, identify, and to identify systematically the strategies used by translators to convey the political feminist uh, discourse. In addition, the study aims to highlight the translator's role in conveying feminist ideologies and determine whether translators adopt strategies that express these ideologies. 
Finally, the study explore whether the strategies used lead to any changes in the original meaning of the source of the of the original text. So the research aims to answer the following questions. To what extent uh, do translators address the political feminist expressions in the translated texts? What are the linguistic features shared by the translators in translating political feminist uh, dis, uh, discourse? And what are the feminist translation strategies applied? Is there any ideological manipulation? And if so, what are uh, are this uh, ideological manipulation affect the ideological pattern of the text or not? So the model of the analysis based on the interdisciplinary nature of the study, which is critical analytical, it deals with literary uh, translation as discourse and feminist ideology in literature. My study requires a combination of critical discourse analysis frameworks and feminist trans translation strategies. The analytical model proposed provide a feminist critical discourse analysis as it draws on Fairclaw uh, critical discourse analysis, uh, which provides text textual analysis in relation to social context, and Van Dyck ideological square, which views discourse analysis as the analysis of ideology. It also draws on the feminist translation strategies as an ideological device. To, provi to provide a full analysis of a literary discourse, the analysis requires looking at firstly the um, paratextual features of the literary work, uh, such as titles, uh, box covers, illustrations, uh, comments, prefaces, and so on, to compare how these works are presented in the original and the target discourses. Then to study the textual features where feminist ideology is implied. So I used materials from two Arabic novels and their English translation. I have Al Khaifun uh, by the Syrian writer Dima Wanous, the winner of the International Prize for the Arabic Fiction in uh, 2018. The novel was uh, translated into English as The Frightened Ones and also become the winner of the English Pen Award. Uh, Wanous provides important materials to study feminist discourse in general and Arab women's writing. Uh, and the impact of war on women's writing narratives in particular. The second uh, example that I have is uh, The Baghdad Clock, uh, which is by, written by Shahad Arawi. Uh, it calls Sa'at Baghdad in Arabic and translated at The Baghdad Clock. Um, Arawi captures the memories of Iraqis since the Gulf War in 1991 and depicts their lives, personalities, dreams, and future in the dark shadow of the political struggles, inter, uh, international sanctions and wars uh, through the voice of a female narrator. Last but not least, research in translated literary discourse is beneficial for uh, many fields. For translation, to bring new perspective to translation studies that deal with gender and political issues. For literature to enrich contemporary Arabic literature studies by including feminist ideologies and their political aspects within the literary works. For gender and discourse to investigate Arab feminist discourse in general and how it contributes to the border feminist discourse. And lastly, for media and reception to provide a new perspective in feminist critical discourse analysis. <laughs>